fucking morning. Time for cardio. Got my all day made watermelon. And it's gonna be a great fucking day, so let's fucking kill it, goddammit. Ah. Alright, it is cardio time. And believe it or not, I'm excited, goddammit. Oh yeah. Got my fucking music. Gonna zone out and fucking think about positive shit. Think about what I'm gonna do today, what I'm gonna get accomplished today, what my motherfucking goals are. And, uh, you know, you gotta keep that shit in your mind 24 hours a day. Very important, constantly thinking about what you can do to be better. And not only think about it, fucking do that shit, right guys? So, uh, whatever it takes, best you can be, goddammit. That's what I'm talking about. So let's fucking just run through this goddamn cardio and get the goddamn day started. Meal number one. So grub time. And I'm having the zucchini spaghetti. What is it, babe? Zucchini and what else? Uh, zucchini and squash, I think. Yes. And look at that. It's like pasta, damn it. <laughs> I have to say, the zucchini and squash, the way they make it like this, it's fucking better than pasta. No joke. It's got a slight crunch to it, and it's just fucking incredible. I mean, I like this better than fucking pasta. Like, this is better than spaghetti and steak. So, bam! Generation Iron 2. The premiere is going to be at Body Power, the UK. What's the date? You know the date, babe? It's May. May, I don't know, <laughs> but all I know is we're going to be there, front fucking row, I can't wait to see it, I think it's going to be awesome, and you know, the first movie was, eh, I'm being honest, you know, um, it was great to watch a movie about what we love and what we do, and um, you know, um, you know, Vlad is, is really good at what he does, he was following certain guidelines, and in Generation 9 and 2, there is no holds barred. It is about, it is a documentary, and it's, you know, it's not a documentary, but it's documentary based, and fucking telling how it is, you know, telling it how it is, you know, so it's good shit, and, you know, you guys know that I'm fucking telling it how it is, I don't give a fuck, you know, where I'm at, what movie I'm on, that's, that's the way I am, and if, if uh, people don't like that, then I'm not going to be involved in whatever it is, you know, and um, it's good shit. And, you know, I'm talking about my bodybuilding days and my steroid use and my steroid abuse and how bodybuilding was my motherfucking life. And, you know, I was ready to live and die for it. And, you know, if it took getting on stage to win whatever it is and, you know, fucking... You know, short my life by 20, 30 years, that's what I was willing to do. That was my mentality, you know, that's the mentality of a champion. And, you know, I put more into that motherfucking sport than I put into anything else in my entire life. You know, I, I've been involved in real estate, I'm involved in the stock market, I'm running a fucking business, I've had other businesses in the past, and I can sit here right now and say that, that I put more time, energy, determination into my fucking bodybuilding, stepping on stage and winning a $10 trophy. I put more energy into that than fucking running a fucking multi-million dollar business. You know, having a, a stock portfolio, day trading on a daily basis, you know, buying property, have rentals, you know, um, I, I put more effort into fucking stepping on that stage. And to this day, and you know, I, I want other people to get that message and other people to realize that, you know, you're, you're basically killing yourself for that trophy. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you truly love that shit and that's you live, breathe, fucking, you know, whatever it is. And that's the way, you know, that's your number one priority and that's your goal. And that's what you're here about on this earth and fucking go for it, you know, give it all you got. But I just want people to, to see, you know, my point of view and the lessons I learned. And, you know, 
being able to take all of that that you have that you can put towards you know bodybuilding and you could take that and put it towards you know something else in life you know you will be successful as fuck at whatever it is you choose you know so anyway guys I'm just I just basically want to stress that this movie is going to be good it's going to be some good shit it's got a great array of characters you know it's um it's 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 done really well it's filmed really well um edited very well and um i think it's going to be a hit and i think it's going to go mainstream and um i think it is actually it's going to change things i think things are really going to change after this movie you know is out there i think it's uh it's going to bring a lot more people involved in the fitness industry i think it's going to be a lot more accepted in the fitness you know in in the real world and um you know i mean being honest about it that's what people want you know people you know they're tired of you know i think it's been out there everyone knows it's out there and to try to keep fucking you know it, it just doesn't even make any sense you know for in my opinion for people to you know to continue acting like steroids don't exist steroids aren't involved in the sport i mean that's kind of what the sport has portrayed in the last 40 years and you know maybe 20 years ago you know it was okay but I mean, come on, nowadays, I mean, nobody is fooling anyone, right? I mean, uh, the general public is well aware, and if there's any sport in the world that screams steroids, it's bodybuilding, you know? I mean, we're aware that it's in every sport, you know, but, you know, bodybuilding is a sport where it visually shows, you know, if you're a fucking Olympic swimmer or you're a fucking gymnast, you know, it doesn't scream out. <laughs> you know, like bodybuilding. So I think coming out and admitting this shit, you know, and, and and letting people know, yeah, this is part of the fucking sport. This is what we do. You know, we're willing to fucking take it to that extreme. I think it's gonna be a lot more respected and, uh, you know, people have a lot more respect for the sport. So I think this movie is really, really gonna help bring bodybuilding more mainstream. And that's what we really need. You know, if, if, if we want as bodybuilders, now I don't compete anymore, I'm never gonna compete, but if we want to make more fucking money, um, it's gotta be accepted by the general public, you know? I mean, they have to accept the sport and, uh, you know, and have respect for it and, and actually, um, you know, be interested in it. And the first step is fucking being honest, you know, letting people know what the fuck is really up. And, I mean, I think that's something that we've always wanted is the general public to accept it and actually maybe enjoy it as a regular sport football baseball basketball you know it's entertainment and it makes fucking millions of dollars you know and these athletes work so fucking hard harder than any other sport and literally killing themselves and to get nothing in fucking return you know that's that's what kills me you know, and I went through that shit, and I hate to see other people go through it. I have close friends, you know, people I care about that, you know, they're, 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 they're still just killing themselves over this, you know, trying to win that trophy. And um, anyway, guys, I just can't wait for this fucking movie to come out. It's going to be awesome. Uh, mainstream is going to love it. And um, I think it's going to help change the sport for the better. So anyway, I don't know where all that came from, but... I need to get back to eating my goddamn pasta, or my zucchini. <laughs> it is motherfucking shake time, damn it. Real food, you know the deal. One, two, three. I already got my ice and water in there. Ready to roll. Egg white crystals, real fucking egg whites. One, two, three, four, five, Six, two more, seven. I'm doing big ass heaping scoping this fucking scoop is eight. <laughs> that was really like fucking ten at least. Oh shit. That could have been disaster. That could have been really bad. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Blend this shit up. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Pour it in my bottle, stick it in the freezer, it'll be nice and 
slushy sloshy. All right, stick this thing in the freezer. Oh, fucking change my shirt, sweaty ass cardio shirt. And fucking off to the motherfucking gym. I got no room in the goddamn freezer. Put my shake, babe. Look at this shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Where am I gonna put my shake? I can put this in the door, right? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. There we go. We are on our way to train, goddammit. Powerhouse, late night, busy day. But getting that shit in, that's all that matters, right? So it's fucking Friday night, so the motherfucking gym will be dead. Dead as fuck. I'm anticipating. I've actually never been to Powerhouse Friday night, so I don't know. But I know all the other gyms I've ever been to in my life are dead Friday nights. So we'll find out. We'll have it all to ourselves, babe, right? I hope so. Hell yeah. So, uh, this is actually, uh, there's no traffic or nothing. You think, like, coming downtown Friday night, you know, like, when you're heading, like, to Hollywood fucking Friday night in L.A., it's fucking mass traffic. But not the case here, right? No. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Yes. <laughs> Okay, today we're gonna kill calves and chest, starting with the calves. First exercise, calf extensions. Gonna get a great squeeze, great contraction, high reps, reps between 30 and 16 to get a great burn. Always stretch your calves, flex your calves in between sets to keep that pump going. Don't let them rest. Second exercise is gonna be seated calf raises. Now on these, I go quite a bit heavier, I keep the reps between 20 and 12. Squeeze on top, stretch all the way down, and go for that pump. We're walking on our calves every day, so we really gotta put extra effort in blasting them. So you really gotta go for a crazy pump, not too much rest, and just destroy them. All right, next exercise. We're training chest, incline, presses for upper chest. Keeping the reps fairly high, 20 to 12 reps. Squeeze on top, stretch on the bottom. Then we're going right to incline flies. So we're really blasting that upper chest. Come up, squeeze on top, hold it, stretch and squeeze. Really gotta squeeze on all fly exercises. You gotta squeeze and contract that chest. It won't do it on its own. You cannot just go through the motions. You gotta squeeze every fucking rep. All right, next exercise. We're gonna be doing flat presses. And again, squeeze on top, make sure you squeeze and stretch, and it's not about the weight, it's all about the pump. So go for that crazy ass pump. Squeeze and stretch and keep the form perfect. All right, the next exercise is gonna be pec deck flies, flat flies. And these are great, same thing, stretch, squeeze, Every rep, you gotta squeeze and contract that chest. You see, I hold it for a slight second with every rep. Very important to squeeze every rep. It will not do it on its own. You can't just go through the motions, guys. You gotta squeeze it every single rep. All right, last chest exercise. We're gonna do cable crossovers, but we're doing 30s. So we're gonna do 10 reps of partials of the first part of the movement, and then we're gonna go to 10 reps partials of the end of the movement, which you'll see me doing right here, 10 reps, and then the last 10 reps is the full movement. So it's kind of like 21s for biceps. So it's 10, the beginning of the movement, 10, the end of the movement, and then 10 full reps to really blast that chest. We're gonna do four sets of those, actually three sets, three sets of those to really just destroy the chest. All right, guys, I hope you have a great fucking chest workout and fucking kill that shit. And remember, it's all about the goddamn pump. It is motherfucking shake time. Woo. Awesome workout. We closed the fucking gym down and they fucking took the tables. So 
I couldn't sit and have my shake downstairs. Mm. Oh, beautiful night. Fucking gorgeous. So we're gonna go try to find something open for dinner. I don't know if there's anything open this late. But we will try, goddammit. <laughs> All right, tonight is motherfucking Cheesecake Factory. Grubbin. Yeah, I know, we eat cheesecake all the time. <laughs> but there ain't nowhere to fucking eat here, so you can't go wrong with cheesecake. Right, babe? Right. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> Snazzy, fancy Jesus button. Jesus Christ, man. Takes forever to open. Fucking all day, all night. Look at this shit. Jeez. <laughs> Any minute now. All right, so I got teriyaki chicken and rice, but instead of rice, I got green beans. Their green beans are fucking actually really good. Fucking grubbing ass green beans. I don't even like green beans that much, but this place has good. Actually, though, I've been eating a lot of green beans. We found some good ass green beans. <laughs> uh, Smokehouse has good ass green beans. Fresh Kitchen has good ass green beans. The Cheesecake Factory. So. Actually, I've been, I guess I can say I like green beans now, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been eating a shitload of them. So that's a good thing. What'd you get, baby? My usual creature of habit. Yeah. My cob salad. Cob salad with blue cheese dressing, right? Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that shit. 